Looks like the weather is just going to be getting worse over the next couple of days. Thank God I brought this sat phone. Yeah, uh, I'm not a criminal, believe it or not. <laughs> I know it may look like one, but that is the furthest thing from the truth. You know, I used to be a church boy. Uh, I guess it's not too uncommon, but, you know. Yeah, no, I was uh, the go to church every Sunday, grace before every dinner. All that. Ah, I never fell out of love with it. I guess that, uh, just conflicts arose, but that doesn't matter. I've got this phone just for emergencies, because as I'm sure you figured out, there's no reception up here this far north, so just in case stuff goes really far south, uh, well, you got this handy little thing just in case. Also because it's very useful to know what weather is coming in and stuff like that. Especially since we are going to be going for a hike potentially tomorrow. Well, we're going to go for a hike. Well, the weather is going to be only getting worse and worse, unfortunately. So, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I know I can't control the weather. Gosh, I wish I could, but... I was really looking forward to going out to the lake tomorrow. Maybe we could have gone ice fishing, caught some dinner. Oh, it would have been so good. That and I'm dying for some fish. Like, fresh caught fish, because... Nothing beats fresh caught. Well, up here it's mostly bass, and it's not the salmon run or anything yet, so we can't do that. And I didn't bring my rifle, so no deer hunting or anything like that. And I wasn't really sure how you'd feel about it. Yeah, I, I'd figured, and that's why I wanted to... I, I think it's maybe it's, it's best that we stick to fishing. Yeah, for sure, no problem. I'm actually checking on it right now. Looks like our stew is going pretty good. Nothing like a bit of ragu, right? Okay, maybe ragu's not a stew, but I think it's a stew. That's a, that's a point of contention for a lot of people, I think. Uh, stewed sauce, maybe? Could that be our, like our middle ground or our, <laughs> our peace zone? Awesome. Yeah, well, the ragu should be done pretty soon. I've already got the sheets of pasta already finished and cut up. They've been boiled and soaked in olive oil maybe a little too long, but that's why I cooked them a little bit before al dente for. Yeah, <laughs> could definitely go for that meal. My guts are rumbling. The hiking today, the trek through the mountains. Oh, <sighs> did a number on you. And me, too. It was a bit icier and a bit more windy than normal, but I'm glad that I was there with you. Yeah, I mean, I've come up here a few times by myself, but usually I try to bring either some friends, like from college, or um, even family members sometimes, especially if we have to, like, hash something out. Because when you're in the city or the suburbs or wherever, when you're somewhere familiar... Um, somewhere that you're acquainted with, maybe a little bit too well. It's a lot harder to take a step back and look at things, but from up here, it's it's a lot more it's a lot more accessible. And it's a lot easier, at least for me. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm sure that it helps being away from the city and all. Uh, but man, I am going to be feeling that in my glutes tomorrow. That hike was rough, but so worth it. Top of the mountain, frozen lake out in the distance, mountains behind us, forests below us, clear skies above, light snowfall, but relatively clear. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping that, well, I was hoping that tomorrow we could go to the lake, Ice fishing, dude. It's so good. 
Um, but that's fine. We'll we'll save that for after the storm. Should have a few days before we got to go back to town, at least to resupply a bit. Oh yeah, don't worry about that. We have more than enough to carry us through maybe a couple of weeks and. Unfortunately, life does have a way of calling for us, so we will have to go back into the city and <laughs> live our natural lives and regular days uh, eventually. But for now, here is the ragu. Oh, wow, that is really hot. Oh, my God, but it's so good. <laughs> I don't know, I grew up with six brothers and three sisters, and I was the youngest out of all of them, and mom used to serve it family style, so it'd just be a giant pot or plate or both in the middle of the table, and if you weren't fast enough, then you weren't going to eat. <laughs> so I made sure to learn to push aside others and scarf down as much as I could, no matter how hot it was, because, you know, I didn't want to be hungry. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds kind of rough, but that's just the way I grew up. Bigger families, rural families, hell, uh, pretty much any foreign family. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. That's why I eat so quick, but I'm, I'm getting better at it. I'm learning to savor, okay? <laughs> Alright, let's see, what do we got here for now? Well, we let that cool down so I don't napalm your tongue. Oh, honey, don't worry. I'll be doing plenty of things to your tongue later. But right now, I have some hot cocoa. And since I made it with the wood stove before the ragu, it should be cool enough. Let's see. Oh, uh, yep. It's still pretty hot because he's some good thermoses, but here you go. Hmm? Yeah, sure, shoot. Why out here? Oh... I don't know. Instead of where? Somewhere nice. Hey, somewhere nicer. What do you mean by that? This place is awesome. It's got all the things you want. A bed, a TV, board games, good food, great scenery. Most importantly, some peace and quiet. Fresh air. I don't know. I like being out here because it's... It's something that I do a lot less often. Not only because it's a bit more difficult to get here, but... You have to prepare and plan to come all the way out here for so long. Yeah, it's almost like a meditative process that you get to look forward to. Kind of like if you were ever a kid and if you were ever a kid, what am I saying? <laughs> kind of like when you were a kid, if you ever had an event that you were really looking forward to, whether it was a movie or a vacation, new game, new book, it didn't matter. Uh, you were excited for it and when you finally get there, especially if you're planning months in advance like we did for this, it just makes it all the better. Hey, got any room in that bed? Hey, thank you. Don't don't worry too much about the hot cocoa. It's, it wouldn't be the first time that I've spilled on this thing. Nothing a couple of machine washes will do. <sighs> it's nice being here with you. Listening to the snow roll by. <laughs> Sipping on hot cocoa while we wait for our food to cool down. And then we can watch Ghostbusters or Casper or something. Mm, I've got Atlantis too on CD. You can put that on. Look, I liked my animated movies, alright? I had an Iron Giant t-shirt growing up. <laughs> I still have it somewhere. It's like hanging in my room or something. But, yeah, no, I... I liked animated movies. I never really got to watch them at my place because I didn't grow up with a TV, but whenever I went to my friends' houses, uh, I'd always go like, Hey, yo, so would you like to watch some Iron Giant again? And uh, they would always begrudgingly say yes, but I'm the one who had the, the Hot Pockets that I biked over from my place. <laughs> they tit for tat sometimes. I still hang out with a lot of them now, but yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, no cable or anything like that, no internet. So we're gonna have to rock with uh, with whatever movies I had lying around when I was in college. Hey, at least they're good choices, right? 
Plan for the next few days? Well, for the next few days, we're going to be trapped inside. Hate to break it to you, but you're going to be stuck right in here with me. <sighs> Might suffer some cabin fever or something. Oh, no, it's not that I don't enjoy spending time this close to you. No. I think that maybe you and I can find a way to pass the time. Wink, wink. <laughs> but, I don't know, I came up here to get outside and do things and... Man, I'm really hankering for some fish. It's been a long time since I've cleaned any myself. Well, when you're in the city, it's also accessible, but that's besides the point. Do you mind putting down the cup for a sec? Yeah, no, it's nothing serious. I just... It's hard to hug you when you're holding a cup of boiling hot liquid in your hands. So just put it down for a sec, okay? <sighs> I just wanted to let you know that I love you. And even though we're here together right now, I think about you nonstop. You're always in my mind. And I can't stop caring about you. I couldn't if I tried. Not that I want to. Having you here with me is the greatest gift that I've ever been given. And it's an honor to know that you're able to let me love you the way that I do and to care for you and... It feels really nice having having the opportunity to rely on someone and have them rely on me in turn. It's, it's really hard to find. It's really rare. And the things that we can do for each other are... They're infinite. It's not just the things we can do for each other, no. To each other, too. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. I, I think it's the Baileys talking. Had some earlier. I saved half a bottle for you. Yeah, we could put it in the hot cocoa while we eat. It'd be awesome. And the fridge still has some ice. Not that it'd be hard to find ice, but... <laughs> we can have some iced, uh, iced Bailey hot cocoa with our ragu while we watch a movie of your choosing. I would choose Iron Giant, but you do you. <laughs> Why not both? Yeah, that sounds good too. Besides, it's not like we have anything else to do tonight. It's getting late, sun's already down, and the storm is a raging. Yeah. I love you too, baby. I love you so, so much. I wish I had the better words for it, but I, I just don't. So I'm going to hug you really, really tight. And then I'm going to go check on the food and see if it's cool enough for us to eat. Oh, yeah, it's pretty hot still, so maybe we... I'll plate it now, and then we can settle in, get that food in us. And then once we're done settling into our food, maybe I can settle into you later. But, for now, come on by. Help me uh, plate this stuff. Uh, just, yeah, babe, you can just plate the, plate the pasta. I'll get the sauce on top, and I've got two cold beers waiting. If you don't want one, that's fine. You got your Baileys still. I, I know that uh, uh, Baileys and oh, hot cocoa are kind of awesome. Or you could just have the cocoa. It's your choice. <laughs> I know I'm a goof, but you are too. And I love you for it. You're my goof. Mm, never going to get sick of hearing it. Don't you worry. And I'm never going to get sick of saying it. I love you too. <laughs> 